Hello, good evening everybody. Welcome to Facts TV, the isolation quiz. Or as I'm dubbing it, who wants to be an isolation eh? My name's Rick Fowle. I'm joined by the heroes of Halifax Rugby League. We've got the boys in. Say hello, lads. Yeah, hello. 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 First and foremost, we've got Ed Barber, the, the TikTok master. How are you getting on, Ed? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, mate. Piling weight on, drinking every night and eating, eating old food in the house. Training for a new, uh, a new game. Oh, we've lost one. We've lost one. Uh, Connor Curtis, you're back home in uh, in the Dragons country. How are you coping over there, boys? How are you finding isolation? Uh, all right. Back in Kumkinvech. So, um, yeah. Well, pardon? <laughs> That's not going to be one of the questions. How do you spell the Davis Twins hometown anyway? Don't worry about that. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, Keegan, you've had a, a bit of a warm-up to this. You hosted your own quiz last night. I'm sure you're doing it a lot better than I'm uh, doing it right now. But... Uh, How's things going for yourself? How are you finding your, your time off your downtime? Loving it. Loving it. Um, yeah, good. Keeping busy. You know, is where it is, isn't it? Absolutely, mate. You've got to stay home. How come you're doing your hair tonight, Keith? It's sort of a bit of profit left in from last night. <laughs> right, I've started off now, so I should stay on. Oh. Well, speaking of the devil, Matt Garcia's here. Matt, how are you? We are live, ready to go for the quiz. Uh, how, how are you doing, Matt? How are you finding your time at home with the, with the family? Yeah, Get doing well, Changing loads of nappies and all that. Lots, lots of bottles, lots of walks. Enjoying it. Good stuff, mate. Uh, Watching uh, Barber's TikToks. I know it seems to be a daily routine around these parts these days. Not today. Not today. That's it, scheming. He's writing teams working behind closed doors. I'll be your wish, I'll be your fantasy. I'll be your hope, I'll be your love, be everything that you need. I love you more with every breath, truly, madly, deeply do. I will be strong, I will be faithful, cause I'm counting on a new beginning. Uh, we have in his in the worst shirt I've ever seen. It's James Salton style. Good evening, Jimmy. All yeah, right, class. Oh, How are you, mate? How are you coping? Well. You fancy yeah, yourself as a bit well. of a brain box, don't you? Is this your forte? This quiz? Yeah, should probably win it. Guaranteed, hands down. So <laughs> no dramas there. No yeah. pressure then. No pressure. And finally, we've got the the joker of the pack, the skipper of the crew, Scott Morell. Scott, how are you, mate? Is that, is that your own shirt behind you we can see? You're not going to speak now. <laughs> Don't believe it. <laughs> right, on, on Morel's note, we shall, uh, we shall get started. So we're going to do 15 questions of sport questions, 15 questions of general knowledge, and we're going to test who is the brainiest in the Halifax squad. So gentlemen, before we continue, can you just please mute your microphones so everyone can hear the questions? Give us a thumbs up once that's done, please. And let's begin. So we're going to start with sport. Question number one. What is the national sport of Japan? And I'll repeat them just a couple of seconds after, after I've, uh, I've announced them anyway. What is the national sport of Japan? Question two. Which car won Fernando Alonso his first Formula One title? Which car won Fernando Alonso his first Formula One title? What do you reckon, boys? Not too hard? All right, these? Absolute shambles, man. Oh, shocking. <laughs> They'll get better. They'll get better. What do you mean, which car? Which make? Yeah. Can't well, you can't sell it. Yeah, because which car? F1 car, I presume, right? But it's it's a company that makes cars. <laughs> Moving on. Question three. Who was the first British cyclist to win the Tour de France? Who was the first British cyclist to win the Tour de France? I'm sure he's been to a few rugby games himself. Question four. Rugby league one for you. Who won the inaugural, for Muzza, that's the first ever, Super League trophy? Who won the first Super League trophy? Following on from question four, 
Who was the leading point scorer in that first Super League season? Now, this came from a quiz the other day that I did and I got it, so no pressure, lads. Say that again, Faz. Following on from the question before of who won the inaugural Super League trophy, who was the leading point scorer in the first year of Super League? That's 1996. Happy? Last time, say it again. One more time for the skipper. Following on from the previous question, who was the leading point scorer in the 1996 inaugural Super League competition? No Googling anyway. That's why he wants extra time. I know, it's shocking. Play me for a fool here. Dirty tricks. Question six. The football team's hearts and Hibernian, or Hibs, also known as, come from which Scottish city? Hearts and Hibs come from which Scottish city? Question seven. So this is a funny one, this one. Everyone remembers where they were during the famous title ceiling last minute goal by Man City striker Sergio Aguero in 2012. But which QPR goalkeeper did he score past to win the title? So everyone remembers where they were during the famous title ceiling last minute goal by Sergio Aguero in the Premier League in 2012. But which QPR goalkeeper did he put the ball past to win the title? Gareth Bale twins. I have no idea, but that is a f very good question. Aaron Ramsey, isn't it? <laughs> I'm hoping oh, there's a bit of an Halifax twist in there, Faz. But might be oh, absolutely. Wrong. Hey, don't worry, mate. We're coming up, and if you if you get them wrong, you've had it. So, so have you got a deep voice button on your camera? Yeah, it makes it extra deep, mate. What if I got myself into it? Question eight. What is the maximum number of clubs permitted in a golf bag? What is the maximum number of clubs permitted in a golf bag? Driver. Nine iron. Putter. Yeah, twins, you, you are saying this out loud, boys. Oh, for fuck. What's that? <laughs> Just giving all the answers away. Question nine, another football one. Who is English footballer's all-time leading goal scorer? That's the England national team. Who is the England national team's all-time leading goal scorer? Now we're talking fast. Some good questions. Here we go, boy. You still there, guys? Still working, yeah. Jolly good. Question uh, 10, this one. Which county has won the most championships in English cricket? So the county championship has been won by which county the most times? Come on, Ed. I saw him spring into life there. I think he's got a good idea. Pen's still flickering. I'll give you a little a second there. Now, this one's open to joke answers this. So I'm, uh, I would assume that Muzzer should be muted here. But question 11. What is one inch thick, three inches in diameter, and weighs six ounces? Tyrus. There you go. What is one inch thick, three inches in diameter, and weighs six ounces? Question 12. The first Olympic Games were held in which country? That's a standard, that one. The first Olympic Games were held in which country? Right, and we're on to the last three here, which are all Halifax Rugby League questions. So uh, let's see how your, uh, your knowledge goes here, gentlemen. Question 13, and I'm sure you, you've probably heard this name banded around. It, it could soon be taken over if we ever play any games again. But question 13, who is the all-time leading point scorer for Halifax Rugby League Football Club? Who is the all-time leading point scorer for Halifax RLFC? Tyra never shuts up about it, so should be all right. I haven't got a clue. You're Googling that, gas. Love it. Monitoring each other, I love it. 
Question 14. In our history, how many times have Halifax lifted the Challenge Cup trophy? How many times have Halifax won the Challenge Cup? Question 15, your final sport question. And like I say, you should all get this. I think pretty much all of you were playing. Who scored Fax's first try of the 2020 league season this year? Who scored our first league try this year? Sheffield at home. For those that don't remember, it feels like a lifetime ago. And that's your first 15 questions, everyone. Does anyone want anything repeating? No questions. No questions. Yeah, what was the one with a stamp? Oh, no. What was that in English, twinners? Number 11. Number 11. What is one inch thick, three inches in diameter, and weighs six ounces? You got it? Yeah, I didn't so bad. <laughs> and that's it for your first round boys how do we all think uh, think those have gone so far X bag average I bet I haven't even got five mental Blimey. <laughs> Right then, gents, do you want to send your... Uh, the way we're going to do it for everyone watching at home, they're going to... So there's no cheating involved with these bunch of lads here. They're going to send a picture of their answers into their group chat so they can moderate each other. We'll come back in a short uh, period and we'll check up on the answers to the first round before we move on to the second round. So see you shortly, guys. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the uh, the first round answers part of the Fax Isolation Quiz. Who wants to be in isolation here? Um, we're going to crack straight on with the answers, so let's see how these boys test when it comes to the mentality of the squad. Question one, what is the national sport of Japan? The answer, sumo wrestling. That's it. Question two, which car won Fernando Alonso's first Formula One title? The answer was Renault. <laughs> So far, so good. Has anybody, has anybody got that? Yeah. Got it. Merck. Blimey. Shambles. Right. Question three. Who was the first British cyclist to win the Tour de France? The answer, Bradley Wiggins. Yes. yes. Off the map. Three out of three. Question four. Who won the inaugural Super League trophy? It was, of course, St. Helens. Yes. Oh, oh, no. Surely Wigan must have won. Wait, I know I've got Wigan. No, first, first oh, Bob's rigging. Could be walking dogs. All right, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting answers now, kid. I'll ring you back. See ya. He don't want to join in, but he'll, uh, he'll cameo. Don't want to miss so, out. Just going back to that. So the answer to that one was St. Helens. Question five, who was the leading point scorer that year, which was the first year in Super League? The answer was Bobby Goulding. Well, Bobby Goulding as well, fuming. Bobby Goulding. Number Angry six. Angry what you wanted? Give me a pen. Great. We'll do, we'll do all the answers at the end and we'll oh, get your first, game, uh, first round scores here. Yeah, question, like six. Quick, question six. Hearts and Hibs come from which Scottish city? The answer is Edinburgh. Oh, oh put Edinburgh and then cross it out and put Ibernian, man. Mental. <laughs> no, I'm not having that one. So, question seven. Everyone remembers where they were for the famous Aguero title-winning goal. Which QPR goalkeeper did he put the ball past? The Paddy Kenny. Paddy Kenny. Oh, no. Robert Green. I run three-two before you finish. Halifax lad, mate. Yeah, he is. What is the maximum number of clubs permitted in a golf bag? The answer is 14. Yes. Like I've got two right. Played a bit. <laughs> Played a bit, Ed. Yeah, Number nine. Who is English footballers? Uh, oh, English English football's all-time leading goal scorer is Wayne Rooney. Yeah. Question ten. Which county has won the most championships in English cricket history? The answer is Yorkshire. Yes. Come on, Ed. Yorkshire. The answer to question ten. Question eleven. Now, this one's I'd, I'd like to hear some of your answers to this one, see if any of you got anywhere close. So the question was, what's one inch thick, three inches in diameter, and weighs six ounces? Anyone? Hockey puck. Hockey puck. Good answer, boys. 
what? It's an ice hockey puck. Bag it. You can't, you can't have a puck for any hockey that's not on ice. Because you'd have a ball then, wouldn't you? There you go. It's a man who thought it through right there. Question 12. First Olympic Games were held in which country? Greece? Oh, does Athens come? Because I thought you said where. No, oh, that's, that's not a country. 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 <laughs> that's not a country. Athens is not a country, man. This is where well, it no, gets interesting. We want. Question 13, we which is the start of the Halifax questions. Who is the all-time leading point scorer for Halifax Rugby League Football Club? Mick Scott. No oh, idea. The answer is Ronnie James. Oh, that one. Oh, Ronnie James, wrong. I thought tired of mentioned that a thousand times to you. What question was that? 13. Oh. Halifax point scorer. I put, I put, yeah. I, I got, Ronnie I put James. Yeah, go on. Question no, 14. Cheers, guys. <laughs> question 14. How many times have Halifax lifted the Challenge Cup trophy? One. Five. One. Oh, no. Five times. So I missed out the leading point scorers. I put five for number 13, but you know what I mean, don't you? So uh, yeah, I'll, no, I'll, no, I'll, no. I'll allow that. Yeah, I'll allow that because you get. Thank you. You didn't have an answer for thirteen, did you? No answer for thirteen, yeah. but I got no, I got all yeah. right because I wicked it today. Wikipedia. No, oh, Damn it! Shocking. shocking. Question fifteen, and like I say, you should all get this. I think ninety percent. I think everyone were playing, were they? Who scored Fax's first league try of the twenty twenty season? The answer was. Tyrus. Matt Garcia. Oh, Fox piss. Oh, Conor McGrath. Yes, get it. Oh, no. I'm going to put that ginger you know. Get it. Box So, first 15 sport questions done. George Dawes, what's the scores? We'll start with Mr. Ed Barber. Ed, out of 15. Six for Ed Barber. Connor Davis, Curtis Davis. Six. 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 Oh! So three each for them two. <laughs> Keegan, Keegan Hurst. Seven. Seven. No. Oh, yeah. Seven. Oh, yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy Saltonstall. Uh, solid five. Five. <laughs> All that pre-match bravado has gone down the pot, hasn't it? There's, there's, there's another round to go, man. Love it. Mr. Garside. 14, man. <sighs> Sorry, repeat that. Six. You get a stroke there. Yes. Look, add them up. You missed about 10 out. Got a calculator, Buzz. And finally, skipper. Scott Morell gets four. So, scores of the doors. In the lead after the first round. It's Keegan East with seven. Joint second place. We've got a three-way tie with Matt Garside, Ed Barber and the Welsh Davis twins. Eddie. Just behind them is James Sortestall and with the wooden spoon at the minute is Scott Morell. So we're going to have another quick little break while I set some, uh, some things recording and do some, some housework. We'll come back with the second round in just a minute. Cheers, guys. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Facts TV, part two of the isolation quiz. Who wants to be an isolation air? We're moving on from the sports questions now to general knowledge. Uh, if you can mute your microphones, gentlemen, we will continue with the crunch part of the quiz. Question one. Who was the first president of the United States of America? Who was the first president of the United States of America? You see the cogs turning here. Question two. What device is used to measure air pressure? What device is used to measure air pressure? Some puzzle faces around here, I'm loving it. Here's an easier one for you. Question three. What are the three primary colours? What are the three primary colours? That's question three. Question four. Which animal appears on the logo for the WWF? That's the World Wildlife Fund. Which animal appears on the logo for the WWF? Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's a sheep to him. 
Question five. If we're ready to go, we are. Uh, which country does the cocktail mojito originate from? Which country does the cocktail mojito originate from? Shave up a few of them in your time. Question six. In music, who is known as the Queen of Soul? In music, who is known as the Queen of Soul? Question seven. How many continents are there? On the globe. How many continents are there? And for a bonus point, if you can name them all, I'll give you a bonus point. Couldn't be asked for that, mate. Hey, every little help's here, was it? It's going to go down to the wire. Hey, class in Antarctic, as far as I want. Bit of clarity, mate. Do you think it's a continent? Depends, mate. Fish in France is here, Salty. Question eight. Who wrote the book, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Question eight. Who wrote the book, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? These ones are a bit tougher. Not bad. Where we sort the men from the boys here. Is that he was the only enjoyable when you know answers, Faz? Not, not these shambles. We'll see, Salty. It's just because you're losing, mate. Question nine What nationality was the composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart? What nationality was the composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart? One of the all time greats. Question 11. How many stars are there on the American flag? How many Wrong stars on the American flag? What question is that? That is question 10. How many stars? Yeah. How many stars on the American flag? Question 11. In which city is the oldest zoo in the world? In which city is the oldest zoo in the world? That was question 11. Question 12. What is the capital of Australia? I think you've all been there, haven't you? Question 13. Which bird can swim but not fly? Question 13. Which bird can swim but not fly? Question 14. Who invented the atomic bomb after splitting the atom? Called himself the destroyer of worlds. I haven't got any right here. Joking. How do you know? Who invented the atomic bomb after splitting the atom? Another scandalous question there, Faz. General knowledge, mate. Need to go to more pub quizzes. I don't know. You can't make the show. Question 15, the final question. How many time zones are there in the world? How many time zones in the world? I don't know. Can I get um, eight and nine again, please? You can. Thanks. Question eight was, who wrote the book, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Not a clue. And question nine was which com well, which nationality was the composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart? 
Got you, mate. Any more for any more? Is 10 stars on the flag? Uh, yes. 11, Zoo. Zoo, yeah. Oh, what was number seven? Oh, Otto Han. Number <laughs> seven. Seven. How many continents are there? And you get a bonus point for naming all of them. Yeah, don't you worry about that, twins. Now, nah, one sec. Here we go, all right, yeah. And that is all she wrote. So if you can get your answers into your group chat, gentlemen, we shall reconvene in a short amount of time and come back with the answers. Hello everyone, welcome back to the final answers part of the isolation quiz with all the facts lads here. We've got joined by Ed Barber, Connor Davis, Curtis Davis, Keegan Nurse, James Saltonstall, Matt Garside and Scott Morell. I think they're struggling in this round, but we're about to find out exactly how much they've struggled. So the answer is the second part of the quiz. Question one, who was the first president of the United States of America? The answer was George Washington. Google, mate, Google. Shock. And I said... Question two. What device is used to measure air pressure? It's a barometer. Barometer. Mm. Oh, software, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Question three. What are the three primary colours? Red, blue, yellow, red. Blue. Red, yellow, yeah, blue. Green, blue, yellow, red. Red, yellow, and blue. Red, yellow, and blue is the answer to that one. Yeah, but is it one point for all three? Or three? No, one point for all three. We teach it in primary school, you know. <laughs> Long time yeah, ago, that Keegan. Yeah, uh, can I change my answer for this question? You lot of lifeline. No, no. I'm yeah, sorry, mate. You sent them in now. Definitely uh, not. You've locked your answers camera. in, I'm afraid. Question oh. four. Can't change your answers. Yeah, cool. All of our locked in. Question four. Which animal appears on the logo for the WWF? That's the World Wildlife Fund. It's a giant panda, but I like to say panda. Oh, yeah, I got it wrong. Anyway. Yeah. Change it, Salty. <laughs> Question five. Which country does the cocktail mojito originate from? Cuba. Yes, good guess. Good guess, that one. First one I've got wrong. Right. Even it, the lad that said he was struggling with questions, absolutely flying now. True. Or was it double psyching out? Question six. Who was known as the Queen of Soul? Aretha Franklin. Aretha Franklin. Aretha Franklin. Shadow. Fantastic singer. Question seven. How many continents are there? And you get a bonus point for naming all of them. Anyone want to have Seven. Six. Yeah. I'll go. Yeah, go on, Ed. You put your Africa, up. 24. Africa, Europe, Antarctica, Asia, North and South America. You missed one. You missed Australasia, Australasia mate. Australasia. The seven continents. Ah, Asia, bad. Africa, Europe, Australasia, oh. North America, South America, Antarctica. Yeah, that's the thing. One, two, three, four. Antarctica. Some people Five. don't class it as a It continent. is a continent, mate. Uh, yeah, but what we're going to say, I'm going to give you one of the answers then, aren't I? It's six, it's six yeah. continents. Continent. It says that there's seven continents and one of them's Antarctica. Just because you didn't know it doesn't change There's, the there's six and Antarctica is not a continent. Of course it is. It's debatable, it's very debatable. It's not debatable. So is, are you the kind of guy that's in YouTube comments arguing whether Pluto is a planet, Salty? Eh? No, he's yes. the kind of guy who's arguing about flat Earth. <laughs> oh, God. Mo Speaking of uh, Earths and not being flat, question eight. Who wrote the book, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? The a loser. answer is Douglas Adams. Oh, Douglas. Yeah, Douglas. Did you get that gig? I didn't get that one. <laughs> I thought you might have got that. Question nine. What nationality was the composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart? He was Austrian. Oh, no. Absolutely. <laughs> I knew it were Austrian, but I put German. <laughs> I, put Austrian, I put Austrian to the left, but it's check have you, have you had three columns of answers and you're crossing them out as a play, applies here, Salty? Here, father, uh, it's my quiz, lad. It's my I'll quiz. Accept, I'll accept it, Rob. Shocking. Question 10. How many stars are there on the American flag? 50. 50. 50. Ah, Get in. 50. 
question, 52, I put. question 11. Just 50, Ed. Just the 50. <laughs> question 11. In which city is the oldest zoo in the world? New York. Vienna. Oh, f off. Oh. <laughs> I put New yeah. York as well, but it's a good guess, man. I, I you didn't get that, Ed. I went, I went London. Nah. Mental! <laughs> Question 12. What is the capital of Australia? Canberra. Oh, Canberra. Oh, Canberra. Canberra. Twins, did you put Sydney? Uh, Canberra. No, Canberra. <laughs> they put up. No, no. They put Brighouse. <laughs> <laughs> Question <laughs> Question 13. Which bird can swim but not fly? Penguin. 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 A penguin oh, no, can switch. swim but not fly. Oh, Question 14. <laughs> Who invented the atomic bomb after splitting the atom? It was Robert I know. Oppenheimer. Who? Who? Robert Oppenheimer. Where is he from? Was it not Rutherford? I think he was. Brit I'm not sure if he was British or American. No, it was Oppenheimer because he said. Greg hey, Rutherford, Kate. He has awful. the famous quote as saying, "I have become death, the destroyer of worlds," because he knew that that thing was going to be a hindrance to all of us. And then finally, but not least, question 15: yeah, How many time cool, zones? Cool story, how many time zones are there in the world? 24. 24 time zones 24. in the world. Fuck. Oh. And that. This is your isolation quiz, gentlemen. Tot your answers up. And we'll Shambles. have scores on the doors. Shambles. Ed so Barber. Ed Barber got six in that round. Connor Curtis. Yeah, six. Six. It's going to go down the wire here. We're going to have to get a tiebreaker out. Keegan. Eleven. Eleven? <laughs> Maybe not then. Is that all together? Is that just that round? Yeah. Yeah. Good man. What? Jimmy oh, Eleven oh, in that oh, round. Surely not. I'm on, I'm on 10, mate. I'm on 10. I'm on 10. I'm wrong, and I got the bonus question. Yeah, I think that's right, yeah. Yeah, it is. It was out of 16. That's Salt and Star. No, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got 15, mate. Uh, no, you didn't. I'm oh. on, James. I got four second round. Four second round. <laughs> Me too, Jim. Well done, mate. Nice gas, nice gas. How many did you get, Matt? Four, mate. I'm on ten. Four. And yeah, Scott Brill. Come off, mate. Yeah, dude. I'm not having that. <laughs> I'm not nice. having that. I'm not having that. Look at the answers. You're lying. Yeah, scribbled on that about eight times. You're lying. <laughs> Look so, in the group. Ed Barber. With 12. The twins. 12. Also end with 12. Now nah, six each then. Keegan gets 18. That's Keegan. James with nine. <laughs> <laughs> Matt with 10. 10. And Scotty Morell with, if you believe him, 13. Nah. Both. No chance. Nah. So, <laughs> it's a fish. Have you played for all KR? Right. <laughs> yeah, ready. I'm, I'm Wigan. So, it's official. The smartest man in the Halifax squad with a score of 18 out of 31. Round of applause, everyone. Keegan Hurst. <laughs> Do we have a winner's speech, please, Keegan? No. Good. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks very much. Who's the thickest man? Who's the thickest man? I think that title belongs Salt. to James Salt and Stall. Wooden nice. Spoon. So, uh, they just want the right questions today, Faz. That's all. Yeah, that's it, mate. Yeah, should probably win it. Guaranteed, hands down. So, guaranteed, hands down. So. <laughs> You got to play the, play the Andy Dell. Yes, mate. Yes, Moz. Let's <laughs> <laughs> um, do bingo with Alt Squad. Get bingo going with Alt Squad. I'll, I'm sure we can sort something out if you're all up for it. But uh, just uh, we'll leave this one for here now. We're gonna uh, see how the fans respond to it, and um, you know we'll uh, we'll take it from there. But if you want to get your ideas in, everyone watching. Um, 
and and obviously wish the guys well. I'm sure they wish you well, and uh, we'll see you next time. Stay home. Stay Drinking safe. games and that. Safe. Save lives. Protect the NHS. We'll see you next time. Cheers, everyone. Of Fun and Facts TV. Thanks, guys. Take care of yourselves. Cheers, guys. See you soon. Right.